Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about upcoming potential hurricane Marco. This will be named Marco or Laura if it can reach tropical storm status first, but I believe this will be named Marco and Tropical Depression 13 will be named Laura, which I made a video of earlier today. This is a National Hurricane Center's track, and before I do explain this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You do see there are tropical storm watches for parts of the Honduras. And this tropical storm is expected to peak at 70 miles an hour, just shy of Category 1 status before Mexico. 8 p.m. Saturday, it will be a 70 mile an hour tropical storm. And as it approaches Texas and Louisiana, the National Hurricane Center is currently forecasting it to be a 60 mile an hour tropical storm, which I do think they're, under, they're undermining it. Just a little. I do think this will become a Category 1 hurricane at some point in its lifetime, whether it be in the Gulf or just before a landfall in Mexico. But I do think it's going to be higher than 60 miles an hour in the Gulf before making U.S. landfall. The cone of uncertainty is quite large, so this could end up anywhere. These are tropical storm force wind probabilities. You do see there are 40-50% in Mexico and 5-20% to 20 in the United States from potential Marco. Let's get right into the models. Intensity guidance for Tropical Depression 14, soon to be Marco. All, almost all the models have it becoming a tropical storm. It will be a tropical storm no matter what happens. And only one model has it peaking at category one intensity. But like I said, I do believe this will reach hurricane status low end category one at its peak. But it is interesting that only one model shows it becoming a hurricane, so we'll have to see what happens. These are potential paths the system could take. Each line is a different path it could take. It will most likely make landfall in Mexico as its first landfall before approaching the Texas-Louisiana coast. Somewhere in there, it could make landfall in Texas or Louisiana. We have not nailed that down yet, and we probably won't until the system gets into the Gulf. And it will make landfall in one of those states, potentially as a high-end tropical storm, maybe even a low-end hurricane. So we will have to watch these pass closely. These are current sea surface temperatures. You see the Gulf is very, very warm, 31, 32 degrees Celsius temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico. That could be problematic for further intensification if it can approach that Texas and Louisiana coast. And it could strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane there with those very warm temperatures. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential Hurricane Marco. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.